dystonia different from Parkinson's? And again, you can have dystonia without having a Parkinson's diagnosis. You can have Parkinson's without having any dystonia. Um, a lot of times, you know, they can overlap. You can have dystonia and Parkinson's and it just seems like the genetic component is a big contributor to whether or not you have one or the other or a mix of both. So you really need to be working with your movement disorder specialist in any capacity to help you differentiate your treatment options depending on where you are specifically.